Excuse me, little dog. Ooh. All right, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the end times, it is a beautiful midsummer day in late October where we are enjoying the feel of bare feet for the last time, good Lord, at least till I get down to Florida. But it is a Friday afternoon, October 27th. 2023 and uh, I am waiting for my final my final guest here at the uh, at bugs in a jar farm so uh, I can try to get out of here on Sunday might be Monday my last weekend at bugs in a jar farm in 2023 for me you know to do what I do every weekend which is sitting around uh, talking to myself uh, here on YouTube, talking to my little imaginary friends, uh, <laughs> which ties right in with, uh, I guess this is chapter four of, I don't know what you call this little series that I've been doing. This is the fourth, probably, last chapter unless you guys uh, unless I get any particular request I'm kind of what I've been doing and I don't know how much time is on this battery it was not fully charged so if this if this goes off it goes off I'm probably not going to start over uh, so what I've been doing is kind of looking back over the past 15 years that it was 15 years ago that I, you know, pretty much walked away to the best of my ability from the dominant cultural paradigm uh, and started to take the road less traveled. I began my trip down the road less traveled uh, 15 years ago, and I've had this rant before. I would like to find it from when I had it 10 years ago to compare the notes now. But uh, this rant, uh, well, it's not a rant. Th th this rap is we're going to look at at least what I have found in my trip down the road less traveled to be the pitfalls and the potholes that I have encountered since deciding, you know, to walk away from, um, you all know what I walked away from by now, my, you know, my beautiful home and my uh, career uh, and my hundreds of lovable, clueless friends and the parties and the sex and the... Uh, you know, that kind of stuff, that all of the stuff that, uh, you know, indicates that someone has reached the pinnacle uh, of what this dominant cultural paradigm, uh, which we can uh, simply call Normieville, uh, which the vast majority of, no, of normies are taught cradle to grave. This is the indicator of, uh, of success. How much money you make, uh, how nice of a home, hopefully several homes you own, uh, how many cars you own, uh, this is the the measure of success, and I was living it. I was the poster child of uh, someone who would have been uh, considered a success uh, in the dominant cultural paradigm. And after uh, meeting up with Terence McKenna, who led me to my meetups with what the Mushroom God the ayahuasca god in the San Pedro, otherwise known as the Mescalito god. 
uh, that was the end of being at the pinnacle, uh, or certainly high up the ladder of uh, uh, of what is considered, uh, you know, in in rammed down your throat, the what is the definition of uh, succeeding in. You know, America, the American dream, maybe you want to call it that. I was living the mainstream media, a uh, commercial version uh, of the American dream, blah, blah, blah. And after examining my life, and uh, I just said, is this the way? I want to live the rest of my life. I was 48 when I first started down the, the road less traveled. You know, as I mentioned last night, you know, did I want to spend at that point the next 17 years uh, living my dream of acquiring 40, 40 pieces of real estate? A, a single bachelor, is this really what I wanted to do with my life? Uh, you know, I was looking forward then to age 65, and I'm one year away from that when I decided to cash it all in, uh, walk away from my beautiful home and all the rest of it, uh, and head down the road less traveled. Now, <clears throat> you know, as I've said, it, it, it was kind of a two-part thing for me personally, for those of you who, uh, I, I, I guess, don't know who the hell I am, I am also a doomer. Uh, it, it was hard for me to start down, you know, to turn my back on the dominant cultural paradigm and start down the road less traveled without becoming a doomer. But I do want to make it clear that you don't have to be a doomer to, uh, you know, to do the best you can to walk away from it. Uh, it, it, that's not a necessary ingredient, but it is an extra level that, so I, 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 I was also walking into the doomosphere at the same time. And so I'm particularly talking to doomers who walked away, uh, however long ago or are thinking about it. But just understand, you don't have to be a doomer, although it will make your trip, it will greatly increase the number of pitfalls and potholes on the road less traveled if you are a doomer. But uh, whether you're a doomer or not, uh, as I was closing out my rant last night to segue into this one, First, I want to talk about what I do not miss. <coughs> what I do not miss is all of the crap I used to own. The, the unbelievable mountain of useless shit that I was dragging around with me. Uh, with my two-car garage that had no room for either one of my cars. And, and, and at the, and, and, and the very last year, I actually had a storage shed in addition to the two-car garage that I couldn't fit either one of my cars in. Uh, you know, my four-bedroom, three-bath house was overflowing with this shit. The garage was overflowing with this shit. The storage shed was overflowing with this shit. Uh, good God, get rid of it. I do not miss it. Okay, so that's the material possessions. Now, talking about the money uh, that uh, I used to buy all of this worthless planet-eating shit uh, for, for all those years... Uh, I'm not going to sit here, guys, 
and, 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 and act like for one minute that I don't like money and, and what it can buy you. Uh, I would be anybody who, who says that. They're, they're just lying. Uh, I would absolutely love to win the lottery. All right. If anybody has a spare million dollars lying around and wants to send it my way, I would love to stumble on a million dollars. But uh, what I do not miss is the trade-offs that I made in order to make the money to buy all of that shit that I did not need. Uh, the, the pursuit of the money, uh, it, 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 it is something I don't miss. I, you know, for, uh, I, for the past 15 years, uh, I have lived about on 10% of what I was making when I walked away. Now, I have had two infusions of cash uh, over those uh, 16 years from flipping properties from my old life as a house flipper. So uh, I admit uh, that money helped. And, and no, I did not take the money and give it to charity. And I still consider myself to be a very, very small potatoes uh, real estate investor. Uh, I mean, but compared to what I, you know what I'm talking about. I've got this place, uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm. I've got this place in New York and one acre of uh, vacant land in Florida that I own in partnership with another person. So I have one half interest in one acre of vacant land in Florida, and I own these 14 acres with my little shack and these three tiny houses on it, on it now. And uh, the difference in my level of happiness, it, it, it has nothing to do with the money. Okay. Uh, I, I don't miss the money. I don't miss, uh, all of that shit. So if, if, if what you're freaking out about is that you're going to miss all that shit. You're not going to. Let it the fuck go. Free yourself. The sound of existential dread. A dancing skeleton. Lighten your damn load. So, uh, uh, I guess you would call that the new coat of pavement on the road less traveled. Is all of that crap. I, I do not miss it. Uh, obviously, guys, uh, what I miss uh, is not the material possessions. It is the relationships I had with other people that uh, my decision that I made 16 years ago uh, you know, to, to start down the road less traveled, well, that means there's a hell of a lot fewer people walking down that road with you and that you are going to spend, uh, just, uh, you know, just plan on, uh, spending a, a hell of a lot of time alone. Uh, you know, I've mentioned the, the secret language of birthdays, uh, before and, and, and for people born on, I was born on September 22nd and the message in that book, uh, for people born on September 22nd is beware 
the depressing effects of isolation. Uh, now, if you really are a hermit and you are happier and you really do not desire uh, the, the company of other people, uh, then this, uh, you know, I, I'm very jealous of you. Uh, I wish, as much as I despise humans, being a doomer, as much as I despise humans, for some reason, I still desire the company of people uh and the, the these these really I you know I've been thinking about this the four groups of people that I miss uh since I started down this road 16 years ago and uh, a, a main part of my life uh, I had been living in Austin Texas you know the live music capital of the world is playing music, uh, playing acoustic music with uh, small groups of friends of mine. It was it was probably the single greatest joy that I had was getting together with I don't know six to uh, six to twelve people sitting around a campfire or a living room. Uh, playing music uh, w w with a group of friends, uh, except when I go home to Austin for visits, I, I have completely lost that uh, out of my life. My my number one joy, uh, um, one of my certainly top few joys in life, is, is, is gone. So if you are a musician. And uh, this is one of your joys. You need to understand if you start down this road less traveled, whether you are or not a doomer, you're probably going to be playing a hell of a lot less music. Uh, I, I mean, I can't believe how little music. I, I just do not play music with friends anymore. I do not have, outside of Austin, Texas, I do not have one single friend. I have not made one single friend who is a musician since I started down this road. Uh, then, of course, we, uh, you know, the big parties, you know, once or twice a month, I like going to the big parties. Uh, I, I, I miss that, not as much as the small gatherings, uh, now, I do miss uh, going to live music events. Uh, I uh, movies. I do not. I do not go to you know theaters. Don't go to movie theaters. I don't do it. Do not miss it. But obviously, I would be lying if I said uh, I. I, I don't miss going to live music shows. Uh, I used to, you know, when I was living in Austin, I would hear live music minimally three times per week. And now, uh, since I left Austin in April, I have been to live music two times both of them in, in the last month. In the last month, I have been to live music events two times. And in, in, in the, the, the five months previous, never happened. Never happened all summer. Uh, part of which has something to do with running this Airbnb, but that's not really it because uh, the other thing that I that I do not have, and, and, and that you're going to have a hell of a lot harder time finding, is a running buddy. One running buddy or two or three running buddies. You, you know, the definition of running buddy uh, can be male or female. It, it is nothing to do sexually or romantically. 
uh, nothing whatsoever to do with that. It's just, you know, having, having a buddy uh, that enjoys doing the same things you enjoy doing. That you can pick up the fucking phone and, and say, hey, you know, there's this, uh, th there's this band playing uh, tonight or uh, it's a beautiful day. Let's go kayaking or whatever. Uh, I have no running buddies. Now, Sandy, she might get a little bit insulted by that. You know, a running buddy... Uh, Sandy's probably the closest thing I have left to a running buddy, uh, but she lives two hours away. So, you know, a running buddy needs to be someone who lives within a half an hour who you can call on short notice. Uh, like in Austin, Texas, okay, it's 5.30 on a Friday afternoon. Okay. 5.30 on a Friday afternoon, if I had no plans tonight, I would be able to pick up my phone and call at least 12 different people. Like, hey, you know, so-and-so's playing it. So, you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's meet up at the Continental Club uh, at 10 o'clock tonight, blah, blah, blah. You, you can kiss that shit goodbye. Uh, you, you know, d d depending on how far uh, down you get the road less traveled, uh, you would have a hard time getting farther down the road less traveled than I've gotten. And then, of course, guys, I think we all know the biggest whine of all uh, for, for me personally and that I did not realize when, when I did this. I honestly did not think this through. And, 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 and uh, I do not know whether this has more to do with the road less traveled or becoming a doomer. But you add those two together and you can pretty much surrender any chance you are going to find a romantic partner. Now, I know that there's couples who, the, you know, living the normie lifestyle that have managed as a couple to disengage from that. There are both of them, uh, you know, Mike and Karen Sleva, for instance, uh, managed to pull it off. But I, I just can't imagine, you know, your two normies going along with your double income and, and all of this, and one of you decides that they've had enough of it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how the hell? But it, but it doesn't matter in a case like, in my situation, certainly. And if you do not have, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're not able to find a significant other, a romantic partner, uh, whatever term you want to use for it, and you're not able to find it uh, when you're at, at, at the peak of whatever, what the hell do you think is going to happen uh, when you walk away from, uh, you, you know, that six-figure income and that beautiful home and, and, uh, and, and all of that. Uh, and and uh, I, I'm not just talking pussy. But uh, let's, be, let's be honest, guys. You know, I've, I've, I've mentioned this uh, many times before that, uh, you know, several of my buddies uh, in, in Austin, uh, you know, after I made this decision, uh, because I don't mind saying I had no problem uh, finding girlfriends uh, or, or friends with benefits in, in, in uh, Austin, Texas, I going to tell this one quick story. Let me see if I'm talking to myself. I love it. You see this this chair 
um, here, you know, at picking parties, everyone carries these chairs. Well, I always had two chairs, so uh, on the back of my chair it said Hambone's chair. And next to that, it said Hambone's woman's chair. And I remember when I was uh, trying to start a new relationship uh, with, with some woman I met on the Yahoo Personals, and it was the first time that I was taking her out, you know, to meet my, my friends, including my friends with benefits. Uh, so I'm sitting there with her in my ham bones chair with my ham bones woman's chair and one of my, <laughs> one of my friends with benefits, one of my many hilarious uh, friends with benefits, she walks up and sees me sitting next to this other woman and she comes up uh, to us, you know, my new girlfriend, like, like, who the fuck is this? And my friend with benefits goes, Ham Bones Woman's Chair? She goes, how the hell are we supposed to know whose chair that is? So anyway, just to give you an idea uh, of, of, of where I went from. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so my buddies, uh, you know, when I walked away from this and inadvertently walked away uh, from, from sex, romance, everything, you know, several of them, I, I can remember saying kind of almost exactly the same thing. Like, like okay, dude, I, I, can, I can somewhat see you walking away from your beautiful home, you walking away from your successful real estate career, but I cannot figure out how or why you walked away from the pussy. You know, South Austin, Texas is the casual sex capital of the world. And I had to explain to them, dude, it was an unintended consequence. Uh, I, I, I did not think this through, obviously. And it's, uh, you know, I have a double whammy against me uh, being a doomer. Uh, walking down the walking down the road less traveled, and, 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 and I tear myself up uh, on wondering which which one is causing me more trouble in the romance department. Uh, is it because I'm a doomer, or is it because uh, of my decision to live the lifestyle I do? I and I, I remember uh, this woman that I actually made it, this is two years ago, in Florida, when I actually made it for three dates with this woman, and uh, she had no problem uh, with, uh, with my being a doomer. She wasn't a doomer chick. She wasn't a clueless moron, but she wasn't a doomer chick. And I want to make it clear that I do not need uh, the, the woman in my life to be a doomer chick. She just has to be able to deal with me being a doomer. Uh, obviously, I would prefer her to be a doomer chick, but she doesn't have to be. And uh, she answered the question for me, uh, uh, no, no problem at all. Uh, she said, uh, Hambone, is this is a woman, you know, about my age, you know, 60 years old. Uh, she, she, she goes, Hambone, she goes, there is no way, no way that any woman uh, who's reached my age uh, it, 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 it's go, it's going to go along uh, with your lifestyle. It ain't gonna happen. Maybe when you were 20 something, uh, you know, some little uh, hippie chick flibberty gibbet uh, would have signed up for your program. But, but there, there, there's, there's no damn way uh, that, that any woman over the age of 40 uh, who, who has any investment uh, in, 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 in anything is going to meet you 
and, 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 and give a shit about what you bring to the table for long enough to get interested in you. Uh, she said, you know, as long as you're going to do this, uh, you can give up having a girlfriend, including me. And uh, that was our last, our third and last date. And, and then, of course, there was this chick uh, in, in Ithaca, also not a Doomer chick. Uh, <clears throat> we made it to the third date. And on our third date, uh, she, she seemed totally fine uh, with my setup here. And what she told me, uh, you know, just kind of exasperated uh, on our third date. Uh, she goes, Hambone, uh, if you ever want to, to meet a woman, you need to can the Doomer shit. Can the Doomer shit is what she told me. Never heard from her again. So there you go. Uh, but, uh, but the combination, so I, I mean, you need to think long and hard. I'm mainly talking to guys, but this, this is probably true for women as well. Uh, you are not, uh, going to be as interesting, uh, to a potential romantic, uh, partner, uh, if, if, if you have no interest in, in, in what 99.9% uh, of the people uh, consider to be, you know, the things you need to be interested in. No shit Sherlock. And uh, this is no joke. I, I, I've been down that road, and, and it sucks. I have not been laid in almost six years, this is 2023 is the first year I have ever gone in my entire life without having a date with a female. I was supposed to have a date uh, with Dulcinea yesterday, but her husband nixed that. So the one date I had in the year 2023 uh, was nixed by my date's husband. Oh, God, the irony. So anyway, it's no joke. But uh, th those are really the, the, the main pitfalls. It's not the material possession shit. It's not the money. It is your relationships with other people on all levels. And uh, thank God uh, for the Doomosphere, 100% of the new friends that I have made, the few friends that I have made in real life, uh, have been made right here on YouTube. If it had not been for YouTube, I, I, I would be completely alone with my thumb up my ass. Complete, well, except for my little dog, if it, if it was not... Uh, for you guys, for my little imaginary friends, and for the few of you that I have turned into real friends that I actually see for four or five days a fucking year, uh, I, I would be completely fucked or unfucked or whatever, the, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, thank God for my imaginary uh, Doomer friends. But I've got to wrap this up because even my imaginary friends have stopped listening to me about 10 minutes ago. It's getting dark, and I want to go get a fire going for the, my final people. They are here to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Isn't that sweet? So uh, <coughs> I'm going to go start them a romantic <coughs> campfire so they can enjoy their romantic wedding anniversary while I uh, return to my converted tool shed uh, to stick my thumb up my ass and watch Netflix for another night. Get out there and enjoy the road less traveled while you still can. Watch out for the pitfalls and the potholes. Bye, guys. Yes, my little traveler on the road less traveled. <clears throat>